Hi, darlings. On the topic of self-forgiveness, I just went through the process myself, so I wanted to come on here and share with you what that looks like and feels like in the moment. <clears throat> and today, what I experienced was something that I felt upset about. And when we're upset, it's an emotional trigger of something from the past. And of course, like there's something going on in the present, but, but it's triggering something emotionally, internally, that's having you react or respond in a certain way. So with that being said, today, I felt like my little girl wasn't heard. And I felt like she was in some ways, what she felt was shame. And so I kept really sitting with that and just asking, where, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? And as I sat with it a little bit more and just slowed down and, and listened to myself, a memory came through. And this memory of when I was a little girl and I had to be about four or five and I, my, I was over at my grandparents or my grandma's house and I would go knock on the door to use the restroom and I knocked and my uncle's friend was in there and I opened the door and he was using the restroom. And all of a sudden he started to freak out and then my grandma came to came and grabbed me and she's like no don't do that and started yelling at me and in that moment I felt terrible I felt ashamed I felt like I did something wrong I felt like I was a terrible girl for doing something that I had no idea why I was getting in trouble for and so I sat outside in this space and I placed my hand on my heart and I started to forgive myself I forgive myself for judging myself as if I'm a terrible person. I forgive myself as judging myself as not worthy. I forgive myself for judging myself as if, as if I felt like I wasn't heard or seen. And as I was going through these processings, I started to feel my heart open once again, because when I, when I felt this triggering, I felt myself close off. And so when you feel yourself start to close off, this is the most important part, is like when you start to feel yourself close off, ask yourself, why am I closing off? You know, there's an emotional response going on. And so as I sat with that self-forgiveness piece, I started to feel myself starting to open and open and release and release. And as I came up to my partner to share my experience, my incredible king, he just held the space for me to just listen, to just listen. And in that moment when I started to forgive myself, I felt seen, I felt heard. <laughs> and I just started to cry from that past experience of when I was a little girl. And I didn't know better. I didn't know any better. So to tie in a little bit of the self-forgiveness and how important it is to have someone um, that you feel safe enough to um, confide in and you feel safe to feel heard, that to me is, is one of the most important things in, in our experience here. And that's why community is so important to me so that we can all feel seen, so that we can all feel heard, so that our little boys, our little girls, it within can feel can feel heard and can release whatever emotions and tell that little girl tell that little boy you're okay you didn't know better and this is what all the reparenting is all about and that's what that self-forgiveness brings is compassion instead of creating friction it causes compassion and release and softness and openness so next time that you're triggered can you ask yourself, where does this come from? And can you forgive yourself? No need to give it to another person. How can you forgive yourself? And just let that little girl, let that little boy be hurt. I love you. Thank you for tuning in and listening.